Hi everybody. I am here today to do a quick video on how I'm using Scrivener um, for my writing process for chapter one of the EDD program that I am in. Uh, the program requirements for this term have us taking um, a look at chapter one, working our way through the different sections of this chapter following a particular scoring criterion and outline. Um, in my template for using Scrivener, I have posted this template to my notes section so I have access to it. Um, and I've also broken it up in my own personal Scrivener template over here. Um, I have my chapter one section. I have each of these with the notes from the scoring criterion pasted over here. So what I have been doing is um, going through and trying to use the content over here to build myself a basic, very simple working outline. You can probably uh, tell by just sort of what I have here. Let me do a little bit of drawing. Um, I have, for example, description of the problem, which comes from the description of the problem area here. I have then an area where I have to talk about the methodology, and of course that comes from here. And then I've got this brief area here for the introduction and contribution of the field, which is here. But something that I realized pretty quickly is I can't write this introduction to the chapter until I have some sense of where this chapter is going. So I have actually found myself bouncing around through the different sections and writing down anything that I could possibly put in place. It at least gives me a framework to start writing. It helps me identify the gaps that I'm going to have to fill. Um, Sometimes, honestly, that's discouraging as you pull one thread and realize you have a whole bunch more to do, but at the same time, at least it gives me a handle on the process. So I'm just going to talk through some of what I've been doing. I realized that I couldn't really even write the background of the study until I had some sense of what the problem statement was. So I actually jumped down to problem statement um, and started working on that. Uh, and in addition to the information over here in the notes, I did a quick Firefox search of writing a good problem statement and I found a website that suggested it just kind of offered kind of how to talk through it and it offered an example of a problem statement. I've pasted this here that I can use as a model. Um, and then I realized that like my problem statement is going to take me into my, and I haven't finished it by the way, is going to take me into a purpose statement, which I haven't written yet, but I have the example of the one that I was finding again from that website. And that site is uh, here, scribber.com slash research process. And they have a little article there on the basics. Like I said, I just did a quick, you know, how do I write an EDD? Um, problem statement and got some examples. But for me, I think having example material handy, and I just tend to paste stuff here in Scrivener, and then I'll write my stuff up here, and then I'll delete all this once I've kind of thought through the examples. Of course, I can pull a dissertation and look there. I do want to do that, but hey, this chapter stuff is due tomorrow, so I'm trying to get get this cooking. Um, so I realized I was kind of working my way through that I'm going to have to address several of these things. Um, thinking through the advancing knowledge section, I'm going to go ahead and put my heading in there. Um, thinking through the advancing knowledge section has been really fruitful for me today. Um, what is it about this question that I want to bring to the table is different than what other people have been doing or what I've been seeing in the literature? I can tell you that based on what I've been searching. So even though I can't really clarify for myself yet what my research questions are, what my problem statement is, I am starting to get a sense as I think through some of these subsections where I'm trying to go. So I guess all I'm trying to say here is don't be afraid of working on chapter one holistically, of giving yourself little categories for all the different buckets that we're going to have to put information in. Um, I was just working on maybe drafting a research question. It's not a beautiful question, but it, it's there. I can kind of see where my thinking is going. I can come back and refine these in a few weeks, but kind of seeing where this is going to go. And, you know, I think working on something like significance of the study, like what exactly am I hoping to accomplish by doing this research helps me understand, for me at least, what the problem statement is. And then I can go back and kind of address these issues in the background. What do we currently know? Who is already affected by this problem? And what's been done in the past to address this? So right now I've just got an outline here. These are the sections I'm planning to fill out, I guess, um, and find lots of stuff. And 
I'm okay with hammering out a functional draft right now and coming back around uh, next week and in the following weeks and filling things in. And I would expect the chapter two literature review to really um, enable me to come back later this summer and rewrite this portion of chapter one and make it better. So anyways, I hope that's an encouragement. If you're struggling with chapter one, like I have been, please hang in there. You're going to make it. And we are all going to do a great dissertation. I hope you have an awesome day.